Hello, well, because of my head, and you can still move the wind, and you can still do it, and I can still do it. Greetings, my beautiful gods and goddesses of creation. How are we doing in this very moment? In this moment. Sorry, I haven't been on in a few days. I've been in the truck for about four days, plowing some snow, and uh, losing my mind. So how are we in this moment? I will shoot a little Reiki. This is for a little awakening in the DNA. Shake it up a little bit. For your awareness. So, um, Let's just reflect on the year a little bit. This is what we do now. We're reflecting on the year and we're going to do it on a global stage because what's happening on a global stage is basically reflecting our insides and basically on an experience that we had or a memory that we share through genetic memory. Um, what I want to say is, if you think of the videos I made in the, in the previous months, uh, talked about something coming and all these things coming and we, we, we ran across the, the divine feminine real strong so the female power is here okay now I'm going to show you back and forth symbolism and reflections of my life to help me understand where I'm going or I'll be next year so now I can transform it into where I want to go um Let's let's look at everything that's going on right now. Everything everyone's basically saying we are in biblical times. Let's think about that. Now I went to Catholic school for like nine years or something. I don't even know. Ten years. I don't even know. So we're in biblical times. All you hear about is apocalypse and this doing that, and we're gonna blow up, and and we're gonna the the, the currency is gonna go away, and all this shit. Right? Everyone's trying to kill everybody. <laughs> Games, mind games, head games. So I thought about that. We, you know, then you hear about we're in the golden age of, of guy or entering the golden age or the Aquarius age, right? What is the Aquarius? This is the feminine. Look what is going on in Hollywood. The divine feminine rose to power. Hello, we love you. You know how it started off? Think of the movies. Movies and, and video. Things that we instilled in our brain. These, these movies are reflections of our lives personally or things that we may have experienced. <clears throat> I'm going to go to the movie Wonder Woman that came out in May or something. This year. That was the start of the awakening. Of the, fem the, the divine feminine. That was around springtime, right? Something like that? Think about that. Look what has happened. Look what it manifested. The Me Too era. Right? All the women started to come up and started to put the fucking abusers down to get rid of this dark age agenda of sex. It's going away now. Bye-bye. Thank you, Wonder Woman. I just seen this movie the other two weeks ago. I forgot it came out. And it reflected what's going on with my life personally. On the personal level, what I've just experienced. Because of I am a divine feminine. We are all divine feminine and masculine. It's connected. I'm showing you how things are connected. Here's another interesting thing. Jim Carrey. We are in biblical times, right? What has been Jim Carrey been doing? Have you been listening to his interviews? Have you been listening to what he's been saying about Kundalini awakening? All these experiences. He's documenting his spirituality awakening. What also, let's look at the symbolism of Jim Carrey. Jim, just look at Jim Carrey. What do you see? JC. 
You see, people like me and everything, they're not going to accept us walking around the streets trying to get you to awaken. So they have to do it through film. But they had to have all of the light workers build up their confidence to actually start speaking what we see and to actually start to help people heal the mind and then to heal the body and the thoughts and all these things. We have to go through this for years. Jim Carrey, J.C., what else is going on with J.C.? Well, I'm not a political person, but I do know that Obama, so many years ago, eight years ago, whatever I don't know what it was, took away J.C. and Christmas. You're not allowed to say, you're, you're not allowed to say Merry Christmas. J.C. is going away. Let's put J.C. away. Eight. This remember number eight. J.C. I'm, I'm, I'm just giving the symbolism. I'm not going to go into stories and the Bible and all these different things. This is because those things don't aren't real. There's symbolism there. In numerology, J, C, J is number one. C is number three. What I've been saying about 13 is the divine, is, if you look it up, it's basically... A number of the divine feminine returning. It's returning. What? It, what? It, what? It, what? Wait. Returning. Re returning. She's coming back, but she's been here. <sighs> okay. So let's go over JC. Good old JC. And, and the reason why people hate it, and we have to figure out why we hate JC. Why do we hate the Bible? You know, I, I went through all that. I did that already. You know, we have to do our own work. But I can help you. I can help anybody. That's all I can say. So when you look at JC, <coughs> excuse me. Anyway, when you look at JC, it's 13. 13 is basically uh, the return of the divine feminine. Uh, 13 is, in general, is considered a lucky number. And on Friday the 13th, they took time to celebrate the goddess. Because Friday is named after Freya, the Norse name for Venus and her sacred number. In numerology, Venus adds up to number nine. Number nine is the is another uh, is is associated with the divine feminine because it also has this that interchangeable with six. So we have that motherhood number, nurturing the end of the cycle, right? That eight. That eight. Now there are five Venus cycles that occur every eight years. <laughs> Venus goes around the sun 13 times. As you pay attention to the lunar cycle, the lunar calendar, you'll, you'll know how your thoughts work. You'll know how your actions work. You'll know the actions, the thoughts that you choose will become actions at a different time in a cycle. Might not be right now. Might not be tomorrow. Might not be next month. But the memory is what's going to tell you. See, the memory comes back. Is Jim Carrey an ascendant master? What is Jim Carrey up to? Have you seen recent pictures of him with his beard? Here's another interesting thing that I've collected. Jim Carrey was supposedly doing uh, the film, uh, fuck, what's the name? I don't know the name, but I can't remember. I can't remember. But I know he was to uh, do the part of Terrence McKenna. Who is Terrence McKenna? Is a shaman. He is a psychedelic shaman, basically. Look him up. Look at his initials T M. TM is basically trademark. Trade trademark is on everything. Can of Coke, 
a movie, uh, anything. This trademark on it says on the sticker, the little TM with a circle. TM with a circle. Thank you. <laughs> Jim Carrey is going to be the one to come out after all this chaos. When during this chaos, I mean, because shit's going to keep keep coming down. Shit's really going to come down. So Jim Carrey is setting the stage for us, the light bearers and the light workers spread throughout the globe. He's setting the stage because he's going to come out with something, a film or a book. Pay attention. Pay attention to his interviews. Listen to what Jim Carrey is saying. He, he is an ascendant master. He is also the divine feminine. Awaken. He has to bring it together, a balance. He's going to set the stage for us men to get in tune with our fe female side. <laughs> if you want to know what spirituality really is. <laughs> I mean, look at what happened this whole year. You know, so we got Jesus Christ coming back for Christmas, right? What else is going to happen on Christmas? Christmas is the rise of the new king, the solstice. The rise of the new king. Uh, if you want to look at Trump to say Trump is in the Bible with the Trump blowing the with the, with the Jubilee or whatever the hell it is. I don't know, the Shemitah, the Shamatha or whatever. Yeah, some shit like that. Uh, he, that's the sign he blo you know, you know, the seventh year of the eighth years of the eighth, the eighth year term. He'd be announced, I'm going to be president. Bum, ba, ba, da, da. Apocalypse? Yes, we are. Because why? Apocalypse is the uncovering of the, the, the lies, the truth. The truth about all the lies that we've been taught. That all the things that are being disclosed from our minds. Everything that you say, this is not right, that's not right, you're not right because you're thinking like this. So you need to go to a doctor. You need to get pushed through this. You need to go get this, take this, and do this, and do this. Get you out of your body. That's what's been going on for the four, past 40 years of my life. Get you out of your body that you lose your mind that you have to go to a doctor or you have to cause violence because nobody understands you but JC is here to help us I love Jim Carrey he's, he's great I mean he's the one setting the stage for the light workers this is a message to all you everybody let's start paying attention this is what they're doing to try to awaken Hollywood so we all keep our eyes on Hollywood. Jim Carrey will come in and out with these little messages and this little Jesus-looking face, sometimes a beard. You know, he actually got away for months. Solitude in solitary. Months in nature. He's portraying what Jesus was trying to teach us. But it got twisted. Fucked up. Because why? Because the European man is sick. Sick in the fucking head. But I have to love that. I have to love that shit. Because that's what I am. And I accept it. And by being a creative expressionist through imagination, you let all that go. It's like you... You... Uh, you... Uh, Cleared my cache, if you would, if you will. My cache is cleared, so now I'm downloading new info. Pay attention to the movies around you. Pay attention. See, our movies are telling us our life story symbolically. Symbolically. So, JC is returning. JC has already came back. It's just in a different form. It's more modernized. You look at these weird, uh, um, you know, like, uh, what was that movie? Uh, like, The Green Lantern. How he's in modern times walking around New York with a fucking weird lantern and shit. It's, it's just evolved into Jim Carrey. We're... It's going down. I mean, that may not be now or tomorrow, but it's going to get worse. We have to weed out all of the creators in Hollywood with the sexist minds so that we can bring this new awareness out. Jim Carrey is bringing the age of enlightenment. He's helping us set the stage because when he starts coming out, 
Oh my God, someone, in a, a celebrity's done this in Hollywood. And then they'll start to notice their friends around them. There's one friend around them that's crazy. That's, that's talked about these sorts of things that Jim Carrey has acted out. So there's, you know, what, 200,000 light workers probably across the world, that 1444, whatever that number is, 140 million, I don't even know what it is, but it, it don't matter. We're here now, all across the globe, waiting for Jim Carrey to open the gates so everyone will be, oh, wow, we, we were seeking everyone out for enlightenment, getting them back to themselves, reminding them of who they are, what is their purpose in life, the soul's mission, activating your memory through movies, that movies are connected to genetic memory because movies are portrayed as people's experiences or their memories imagination it's imagination and memories put together with some of their experiences but I'm just some dude in Cleveland, Ohio in a galactic center talking nonsense. But that's okay. That's what an occultist does. You look through the sim you look through the what's in front of you. And if you know numbers, you know you you'll start to see a lot of shit. Because it all adds up one way or another. So that was my little quick method of numerology, how you can you don't have to sit really add up the whole name. I'm sure there's more in depth if you want to go down the hall. But Again, as soon as Jim Carrey does his thing with whatever book, movie, just keep following his interviews. He's very quiet on Twitter. Just keep, uh, just keep an eye out on what he's doing because it's going to spark a global thing with all of us. The shamans, the reikis, the, the light workers, the occultists. People will start, well, actually have... Uh, communities because oh yeah when you when you watch a movie and, and it's a documentary or a book you start to say oh yeah so and so talks like this or so and so has acted this has told me his experience now your mind has just been expanded poof wow The Divine Feminine. Many blessings to you guys. I love you guys so much. Thank you for listening to the little tidbit of hidden knowledge. But that's what it is. That's how I see it. And isn't it weird how Harvey Weinstein in Hollywood happened right after Harvey in Texas, the hurricane? H.H. H. Well, how do I figure that out? H-I. Hi. That's how they talk to you. Hello. But if you think about I is nine, H is eight, so that would be really eight. But there's another meaning, hi. Because how I figured, how I wanted to find the number of H, I had to go to the next letter, which is I. So when you see a double H, they're saying hello. H-I. Hi. But it's eight, nine, eight. That's the way it rolls. This is how they communicate. It's beautiful. It's beautiful. Venus has awoken. Also, uh, I just this she was on my uh, Venus um, was on my personal goddess a few months back with the pink whole the whole pink thing, the whole Raphael thing. It's all connected to through movies and through experience. That's all I got for now. Right now, I'll see you guys in the near future. Uh, many blessings to you all and just stay alert, stay grounded and accept everything with love from here. Be inspiring, be unique, be loving. Be you, be uh, observant. I love you guys. I'll see you soon.